This one is tart. This one is tart. Mm. Hey busy bees, it's Zung and welcome back to another video. Today I have a grocery haul from Sprouts. I feel like Sprouts Market is a combination between Whole Foods Market and your local grocery stores. Um, they have a lot of really healthy items and a mix of like national brand stuff that you can find like at Safeways, Ralph's or whatever. So anyways, if you guys are excited for grocery store hauls, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll go into my interesting finds. So upon entering the grocery store, I noticed there was a hat rack and I always love trying on hats for some reason. Then I spotted this guy and thought it looked super duper similar to the Anthro one that I just bought. I looked at the price tag, this was $24.99 and this guy was $58. Look how similar they are with the exception of this one having a little bit more brownish tones and this one being a little more green. I'm gonna try it on to show you. It's got this like newsboy cap vibe. This one has buttons and this little strip right here for added detail. And this anther one, to be honest, feels a lot thicker and um, a little tighter around my head. I think that's why I like this one a little bit more. It's looser. Down in LA, really this is just for accessorizing. I have no real need to keep my head warm. So I think I'm probably going to return this anthro one and keep the sprouts one, but let me know which one you guys like better in the comments section below. Moving on, I went into the body section. I guess that's what they call it, the health and body section. And I found this Acure Argan Oil and Pumpkin mm -hmm. Conditioner. I was very intrigued. I went, remember, I went to look for fall fall themed items and pumpkin just called out my name. It definitely smells like, it has more of an almond extract smell than pumpkin though I would say. Either way, I'm excited to try it out. I really like this brand uh, for shampoo. I have their clarifying one. It's like a lemongrass smell and it works really well. And then I had to restock on hand soaps for the kitchen. This is my favorite brand. I actually found this South of France brand for the first time um, at the Whole Foods in Palo Alto. However, they stopped carrying this brand and I could only find it at Sprouts. It's an almond gourmand and it comes out foamy and your hand ends up smelling like freshly baked goods. Who doesn't want to? This is made with organic agave nectar, olive oil, and a natural vegetable glycerin for a pampering, cleansing experience. If you guys have never tried this hand soap before, I highly recommend it. It was on sale, I think, for like $3.79. Now moving on to the frozen section, I decided to give cauliflower pizza another try. I first bought cauliflower crust pizza from Trader Joe's and I didn't have the most positive experience. It tasted like foam. The texture was kind of like foamy and it was like I was eating grits, flat grits with cheese and pepperoni <laughs> that we added. Um, and so this one looked a little more promising. The crust looks a little bit more like the real thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram stories, I will do a thorough review on this when we finally crack it open. My handle is honeysucklebees. Next up, I found these butternut squash raviolis, which to me screams fall. I would serve this with um, maybe a brown butter sage sauce or with creamy alfredo sauce. I don't know, depends on what my mood is. I will figure it out the day of, but uh, butternut squash ravioli is one of my favorites and I think Erisi would like this as well. It was buy one get one free so I found these mini cheese ones especially for kids and I really hope she'll like them because if she doesn't I'll end up eating them which is fine too. Next we have some tahini but not just regular tahini this is roasted garlic tahini. I have never seen roasted garlic tahini before and I pretty much use tahini for hummus. Um, there's this dandan men recipe that I want to try that has like sesame paste but I'm gonna sub it for this and I'll let you know how it goes but this was really interesting so I thought I'd give it a try. Now on to the produce section. Sprouts has everything you would find at a regular grocery store um, but Whenever I need to get exotic fruits, 
they also have them too, like Rambutan's here, which is similar to a lychee, except it's fuzzy. I showed you guys a Rambutan in one of my H Mart hauls um, back in January, but I'll show it to you again. It's like a lychee and there's a seed inside. It's sweet, but not as sweet as a lychee. It's really good if you've never tried it before. And then I also found some passion fruits. Passion fruits remind me of my childhood because um, our neighbor had a passion fruit vine, I guess I would say. They just grew off of his fence and he would let us pick them because he didn't know how to use them. And my sister and I would just go over there, pick them, open it up and scoop it out with a spoon. It was so good and tropically sweet, really tart sometimes if you find one that's not fully ripened yet. But this is what passion fruit looks like inside. Isn't it gnarly? Oh. Oh, it smells so good. You know that Pog, the passion fruit orange guava drink? This reminds me of that, except super fresh and 100 times better. This one is tart. This one is tart. Mm. Also, if you guys ever buy passion fruit, look for the ones that are super wrinkly because those are the ones that have fully ripened. Um, this, getting there. And then I also found this pepino melon, which I've never heard of before or seen. I hope this is ripe, but I'm just gonna cut it and give it a try. Whoa. It doesn't smell like a typical melon, like a honeydew or a cantaloupe. There's a very, very faint floral smell to it. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is fully ripened yet, but I'm just gonna give it a try. Hmm. There's no flavor. Hmm. Interesting, not sure if I would ever buy this again, but it's interesting for sure. The texture is very reminiscent of honeydew slash cantaloupe mashed together. There's just not a ton of flavor. And then of course, I found this baby pineapple. How cute is this? It would have been perfect if Erisi was a pineapple again for Halloween. She was a pineapple last year, and if she was old enough, I would have had her pose with this. Super cute and it smells really good. Next up is an item that I've tried before and love, so I really just wanted to share it with you guys. This is called Cabo Chips. It's partially cooked tortillas, flour tortillas made with coconut oil. Um, you do have to cook it up on a cast iron pan, but it's really simple on high heat, maybe for like two minutes on each side, and it comes out like fresh, tortillas that you would get at a restaurant. And there's not like a coconut oil taste either. It's very light. I used this to make enchiladas one day and then we just loved it so much we kept a few stocked in the freezer. So I have another one to add. Here it is in raw form. And we're just gonna cook it on each side for about a minute. So the directions say to cook on each side for a minute, but I'm letting it go for a little longer just because I like that char. It kind of puffs up like this. It creates this air pocket in the middle and it puffs up a little bit, but it tends to go flat once you put it on a plate or hold it up like this. Look at those layers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Soft and doughy, just how I like my tortillas. Fresh. Now, this was kind of a splurge item. I found this really unique blue and brown egg. They claim that they're delightfully different in the way they look and taste. Uh, I really wanted to give them a try, so we're gonna cook this up and I'll let you know how they taste. I've never had a blue egg before. Let's see what this one's like. That yolk is bright orange. According to the latest Worth it video, they said that it depends on their feed, so maybe they've been eating paprika and chili powder. Anyways, I'm gonna whisk it up and cook it on my cast iron. Be sure to check that video too. 
For this one, I'm just gonna scramble it up in a little bit of coconut oil. So I just cooked up our blue egg and the color is a lot more orange than my typical scrambled eggs. I didn't season it um, at all just because I wanted to really taste the flavor of the egg. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like eggs. I do have to say though, I got a lot of questions about whether or not you can use coconut oil in my scrambled eggs video, and so that's why I demoed it with the coconut oil. You will get a little bit of that coconut oil flavor in the eggs, but that's okay. It still tastes really good. Finally, onto our beverages that totally have that fall flavor. This one is a sparkling pumpkin spiced apple cider. If that doesn't scream fall, I don't know what does. Let's see, I think it's non-alcoholic. Yes, it is, hooray! Okay, a delightful blend of warm pumpkin, nutmeg, allspice, and the finest apple cider. I think we should give this a try, yeah? Don't want it to explode in my face. Whoa! It's fizzy. Ooh. Whoa, if you were to drink like a pumpkin spice latte in the form of a sparkling cider, this would be it. I actually really, really like this. It's not too sweet. It's very aromatic with all the spices. I definitely taste the allspice and the nutmeg. Not so much the pumpkin, although it's like pumpkin spice sparkling cider. I really like this, you guys. Definitely give it a try. You wanna try it? I have to tell you guys, Puka Tea is one of my favorite tea brands. I probably have six boxes over there in my tea drawer, but I haven't tried this vanilla chai one yet. It's a caffeine-free organic mm -hmm. lift flushed with cinnamon warmth. Does that not sound cozy or what? Let's see here, what blend does it have? It has cinnamon bark, ginger root, licorice root, sweet fennel seed, cardamom pod, vanilla pod. Hmm, let's give it a try. And it's caffeine free so I can enjoy it before bed. I love having a cup of tea right before I go to bed. It just kind of calms me down and it's just a good way to relax. But I'll do a quick review and let you guys know what this really tastes like. It says, discover how organic vanilla, cinnamon, ginger, and cardamom make you come alive at pukaherbs.com. I don't know about that, but. Smells like chai. There's a strong fennel scent that I'm not quite used to in my regular chai teas, but we'll give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. So this is not like your typical chai latte. Um, like I said, there's a more pronounced fennel taste to it. And I don't know, maybe this brand just really likes to use fennel, but I looked on the other boxes and almost all of them have fennel too, but that tells me I should look up the benefits of fennel seeds because I'm sure that it's there for a reason. But this one I'm drinking without any milk in it and it has a very nice, cozy, comforting taste to it. It's great as a nightcap. And I like that it's caffeine free too. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this fall grocery haul with some exotic items in there. Uh, let me know where you guys like to shop in the comment section below and if any of these items seem interesting to you and which one you would try. If you guys have watched this far, please give me a pineapple emoji in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.